Bilsing. All right, hello everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is a very special edition of the Oregon Drum Project. Today is an unboxing video, and I'll be opening up the AKG WMS 420 wireless microphone system. And I have the instrumental set here, which I'll be using in conjunction with the AKG EC82MD reference lightweight omnidirectional ear hook microphone, which you can check out in a different unboxing video in the links below. But here we go with the WMS 420. Let's get this thing opened up. We got a nice big box here. Looks kind of cool actually. So like I said, I'll be using this with a little headset mic and ultimately using it to record my voice during my daily drum videos where we do deep dives into every aspect of the art of drumming five days a week. All right, so we got some nice foam padding in here. Got the old quick start guide, pretty common. I will probably need this. This is actually my very first wireless set uh, ever. I've done plenty of work in the studio, uh, engineering and second engineering and things like that. I've got all kinds of experiment, experience with those types of mics, but relatively less experience doing any kind of live engineering, which is typically where you see wireless stuff like this. So uh, this will be a learning curve for me, for sure. So for starters, we have the belt pack. This is the PT420 belt pack. Looks pretty simple, off mute, on, little antenna. Actually it only, nope, there's three. Okay, so the middle is mute, left is off, right is on. Looks like that's the input for the little tiny XLR adapted uh, jack. And I'm on RF band A, which out here in the middle of the Oregon woods should not be any sort of an issue. I'm sure I won't have any interference from anybody. If I do, I'll be very surprised. All right, so this set comes with the instrument cable here with the adapter. This piece I actually won't be using for my setup. The headset mic comes with this same stuff. So nice to have. Obviously you would need that if you're using this with a guitar or a bass or a guitar maybe. You would need something like this, but for my setup I won't need that. So I'll just have that in my arsenal of cables now. All right, comes with one Energizer AA battery. Looks like you only need one. That makes sense. We have antennas that go on this receiver unit, I believe, which is pretty simple looking setup here. We've got two lights, one that says RFOK and one that's a peak meter, a clip light. We also have a channel indicator, which looks like it's a single number. So I'll get to figure out what that's all about. Got a volume knob, got an on off uh, button and a channel button over here on the right. Here's what the back looks like. Antenna B, antenna A, unbalanced input. Oh, sorry, these are outs, audio outputs. Balanced, unbalanced, uh, power adapter jack, strain relief, and whatever this is says squelch underneath it. It's not an input jack. It looks like something that you maybe turn with a special tool. It's got a strange little blue plasticky looking thing in there. I have no idea what that's about. So I will definitely have to do a little reading to figure out what squelch is. And we also have a box here that looks like it's got the power adapter in it. Okay, cool. I was noticing this on some other stuff I got today. We've got multinational adapters here, so it can be useful. Looks like many different places in the world. I'm not up on my power adapters exactly, but there's four separate ones right there. And then the standard wall wart. Okay, so one of these is just what we use here in the United States. We got this one. Got this one. And we got this one. I'm terribly sorry, I don't know what any of those are called, but there you can see them if that's useful information to you. All right, so that's everything in the box. We got the belt pack, 
receiver, antennas, instrument cable, which I won't be using, but you'll need if you're playing an instrument with this, all these adapters, one battery, antennas. I think that's all we got. So that's pretty thorough. Everything I think I'm gonna need. Also a uh, pretty nice box really. This foam is all decent. Everything in here looks like I can sort of keep it around and use it if I need to travel with this or move it around or store it or anything like that. So that has been the AKG WMS 420 instrumental pack wireless system. Again, which I intend on using with the EC82MD reference lightweight omnidirectional ear hook microphone. Man, these subtitles are long. All right, so for this time around, special thanks to my friends at AKG and my buddies over at Vision 2 Marketing in Nashville, Tennessee for helping me pick out these mics and hook me up with all this gear. Uh, thanks as always to my buddy, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media for producing these videos. Speaking of these videos, if you'd like to follow along with my channel and the daily deep dives into every aspect of the art of drumming, you can go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me over on Twitter at Dirty Bandana, on the social network Minds, also at Dirty Bandana, and you can get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project at DirtyBandana.com. That's it. See y'all next time.